I believe Edith King. Where's the apple-pated heck when I need him? Not you, sir. Good day, madam. Good day to you, Banisher. What can I do for you? Is all well, Miss Keen? All is well indeed, sir. In fact, a miracle has happened. With the beast dead, my garden has at last begun to grow. With work and luck and God's good grace, we'll end up with a harvest. Though I confess, I find the work more tiring than usual. That's because she's haunted. Thank you for sharing so frankly, Miss Keen. But the reason I ask is... It's delicate. I think you're likely haunted. <laughs> no, that's just my twin brother. I can't get rid of him because we're family. Oh, wait, you're serious? Haunted? Who'd haunt the likes of me? Where is your brother? He... went for a walk in the woods. Oh, no. My brother, Daniel... My brother Daniel went for a walk in the woods. So Daniel Keane went missing in the woods, and Edith here is only getting worried now. How long has your brother been missing? And where might he be? You worry me, sir. With the beast gone, Daniel dared to walk the woods. I did not. Who knows what still lurks out there? I swear at times I hear voices rippling in the trees. Please, would you find him? Better late than never, I guess. I'll look into it. First, I'll need to have a look around here. Please do. I must go. Find my brother. Please. An echo whispering to me. A meager crop. At least it's growing. From the desert, by our hands, the Lord has made a garden. Look, a chest. Well, open it, job and all. Is it a map? Could it be a treasure map? Let me see. Give it here. So, a treasure map. Did Daniel go treasure hunting alone? Well, what have you heard? So, you found a map? A map, sir? Yes, in the chest you dug up with your brother. That map. How... How do you know that? Banisher. Knowing things is part of the job. This is... improper. Even indecent. It was just a stupid old map. I told Daniel to leave it be. Where did it lead? I don't remember. There was something about the bridge on the Boston Road. I paid it no mind. The bridge is down. How did he cross it? I must go. I will wait for you here. The bridge on the Boston Road. There'll be a waterfall somewhere not far away.
shoot. Watch out. Inspect a position. I'm sure You'll have to hit harder than that. You're welcome. Is down. He can't have crossed. There. A path leads downwards. Ransacked. Our Mr. Keen, no doubt. When Daniel goes treasure hunting, he is thorough indeed. I know.
help you cross. Someone recently raided these chests. Looks like Daniel leaves no stone unturned. Traps. Deliberately sprung. That was clever of him. Greed makes for poor choices. I had a friend, Jenks, we called him. Good man. A postman for the blackmail, as it were. Aye, but Jenks stole the money. I suspect Jenks' story does not quite end there. Stabbed in the back and dumped in an alley. Still, he died rich.
footprints. Too deep to miss. I'm guessing Daniel Watch out! Spectre possession! Think you could take on a ghost? Stop that spectre before it possesses the corpse! Oh, get back up! He went down there. Didn't leave much of him. He wanted the treasure so badly it killed him. Why haunt Edith? Was his death really her fault? Let's find his tie and ask him. Here's the map. Dare not touch what's mine! Who are you? Antea Duarte. This is my partner. I'm Red McCraith, Daniel. We've met. My sister sent a banisher. Of course. Tell that harpy the treasure is mine. Your sister was worried and asked Red to find you. That snake? Ha! Don't let her fool you. She slips and slides and hides her sin. She has a talent for it. What sin does she hide? Envy. She covets. As a child, she'd steal. A dolly from a cradle. An apple from a bowl. A cake from off the sill. What she wants, she takes. What she can't, she breaks. But she always dodges the blame. In our mother's belly, someone kicked and I were born bruised purple. But Edith smiled and laughed, and no one thought to wonder was she bad. Did you dig all these holes? Aye, I did. And I'd have dug and dug till I'd found the treasure. Wolves came, and I fought them off. Some was theirs, 
and most was mine. But though soaked in blood, I kept digging. The cold came, and I kept digging. Exhaustion came, and I kept digging. And then, cold and weary to my bones, the blood pooling in my boots, I could dig no more. I closed my eyes. You dug your own grave. Why would you do that? You ever been poor? Have you broken your back in the fields only to starve when the crop fails? I have, and did not like it. Why should I not eat fine food and wear fine clothes and pay other men to do my work? Why not I? I died for a life worth living. And I'd do it again if it meant my sister Edith would never have the treasure. Time we went. Don't listen to Edith. She lies with every breath. Stubborn, isn't he? He's also a man who holds a grudge. We need a wee chat with the sister. No, we need to find something else. Spectre's seen a corpse and wanted for its own. Stay put. Right. Which way to come? We'll find it. <laughs> oh, shelter with a damp and itchy straw bed. Just how I like it. Banish her. Do not be fooled, for the woman is a snake. Well, what have you heard? I found him. Oh my. Where is he? Tell her straight. We found his body. No. No. It, it can't be. I don't think she knew. 
Oh, God. Poor Daniel. How did it happen? He was attacked by wolves. Daniel's ghost haunts you now. Me? How am I to blame? That's interesting. I didn't say you were to blame. I mean, why haunt me if he does not blame me? Well, there are other reasons for a haunting. But his is all about the treasure. He won't let you have it. I should have bloody known. I need to know exactly what happened between you two. Nothing. We did argue at times, but siblings argue, don't they? Aye. It doesn't normally lead to killing unless there's a lot of money involved. What did you argue about? What didn't we argue about? That foolish, obstinate man. I need to go in your house and look through his things. Do you mind? Since when did what I mind matter a moment around here? Do what you must. Look at you, playing the role of the worried sister. They came prepared. Not prepared enough, it seems. Shreds of a memory linger here. Reunius fat aster himi. It's perfect. He'll never tell the difference. <laughs> you won't cross me, dear brother. Not me. She knew he'd steal the map, so she made a fake. He died because she tricked him. I wonder what she'll say when we tell her. Well, you've looked through our things, such as they are, and I'll warrant you've learned nothing. Well, I do have more questions. You're very helpful, friendly and amenable. Is it an act? I don't understand. Why would you ask such a thing? I know about your forged map. I know you know why Daniel is missing. How to... Banish a thing, huh? That old fool's greed got him killed, not me. Truly does she love him so. Don't you feel at least a little guilty? No, not a little. Not in the least. Not at all. I said I'd help you. I keep my word. I'm afraid you must face your brother one last time. Daniel, it's time. Your sister's here. Show yourself. You're not happy. You hear me? The treasure is mine. I see you, Dan. I see your ghost. And you're still mean. The Banisher will see to you. You fool no one, you. Don't rub in happy. Oh, not even death could give you manners. Enough, both of you. I'll have the truth now, if you please. And then I shall decide. Driven by greed, you went after the treasure alone. You double-crossed your sister. Bastard. Snake. Black-hearted blackguard. Say that again, you ramp. Quiet. The both of you. 
This family has two black sheep and they're both utter pains in the ass. Edith, you faked a map and fooled your brother. This is how that ended. You did what? I had no choice. I couldn't trust you. And I were right. You'll not have the treasure, you snake! Nor will you now that you're dead. You'll not squander it on cursed land like a rustic fool. We'd have been better off in England. You know it, but you would not listen. That choice was not yours to make! The truth is told. Decision time. Daniel Keane, your presence is harmful and cannot be ignored. Not only do you weaken Edith, but you also ruin her crops. You're a threat, not just to your sister, but to the camp as a whole. Daniel Keane, time to go. Shall I at last go home? If it makes you feel better, then sure. Be gone. He got all that he deserved.